Good morning, dear students. Hope you are all doing good. So let us start. Let us continue the chapter, the whole numbers. Let us continue the chapter with whole numbers. So first, before going into the whole numbers, so first, first we will see what are natural numbers. What are natural numbers? Natural numbers are the numbers which starts with the number. It starts with the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to infinity. Up to infinity. Okay. So these are the natural numbers. So whole numbers means, so whatever the natural numbers are there, including the 0 becomes the whole number. Whole number is a natural number including 0. Whole number is natural number including 0. So this including 0, this becomes the whole number. And then what are integers? Integers means, okay, so there are two types of integers, positive integers and negative integers, okay. So 0, 0 is the so middle number, after that positive integers come, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, like that up to infinity, they are the positive integers. In the same way, so behind 0, the smaller numbers such as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, so like this up to infinity, these are negative natural numbers. Okay, so natural numbers means 1 to infinity. Whatever the numbers comes from 1 to infinity, those are all the natural numbers. Whole numbers means including 0, whatever the natural numbers are there, those are all called as the whole numbers. Integers means, so there are two types, two, now uh, that is uh, integers are there, positive integers after 0. So comes in the, the right direction of the 0 and then the negative integers which is comes on the left direction of the 0. Okay, so these are less than the 0. These are the numbers less than 0 and these are the numbers greater than 0. Okay, these are about the integers. So next we will see, so exercise 2.1. In the whole number we will solve exercise 2.1. 2.1. So in that, in, the, in this chapter we uh, preferably study about the predecessor and the successor. What does predecessor mean? Predecessor means the behind number. The backward number, whatever the, so if the number is 9, so the backward number, predecessor number is 8 and the successor number is 10. Predecessor means the behind number, whatever the given number, the behind number is called as the predecessor and the after number is called as the successor. Okay, so and uh, next in exercise 2.1, first problem is write the next three natural numbers. Write the next three natural numbers after so that is uh, 10,999. So this is nothing but the next three numbers mean this is nothing but the successor. This is nothing but the successor. So to find out successor I have to add 1. I have to add 1 for this to find the next successor. 9 plus 1, 10. 1 carry, 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1, uh, the 
the smallest number is 0 only so 0 is the answer next fourth problem how many whole numbers are there between 32 and 53 between 32 and 53 i have written neatly here so after between means so we should not count this number also first number also and we should not count last number also between means the between number only we have to take after 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 and last number is 53 so there are about 20 about 20 numbers between 32 and 53 in that way we have to write the answer we should not count the 32 and 53 because they have asked for between numbers okay so next problem is write the successor of write the successor
five. Okay, so then this number three three same. Next number is seven. We have zero, so this is the biggest number. So I have to write the sign like this. When I come to the number nine, three hundred and seven comes first. Three hundred and seven comes first, and then the three seventy comes, isn't it? Then the three seventy comes. That's why three hundred and seven comes to the left of. 307 comes to the left of 370. So 370 is come to ultimate right, ultimate right of the zero. And this is the first right of the zero, and this is the ultimate right of the zero. So where this number comes? This comes to the left of 370. With respect to 370, 307 comes to the left of 370. Like that you have to mention. So this is about the seventh main. Remaining problem you have to do. Next in the eighth main, which of the following statements are true or false? They have given true or false. Zero is the smallest natural number. Natural number comes starts with one, one to infinity, not from zero. So this is false statement. Next, four hundred is the predecessor of three ninety nine. Three ninety nine successor is four hundred. Predecessor is three ninety eight. So this is also a wrong statement. Three ninety-eight is the predecessor, not four hundred. So this is the false statement. Next is zero is the smallest whole number. I told that whole number starts with the zero only. So zero is the smallest whole number. This is the true. Six hundred is the successor of five hundred and ninety-nine. Five hundred and ninety-nine after six hundred. Five hundred and ninety-eight is the predecessor. This is the successor. So this is the right statement. True. For the D, true you have to write. All natural numbers are whole numbers. Yes. Okay. All the natural numbers are whole numbers only. Okay. So uh, that is true statement. All whole numbers are natural numbers. No. Because in natural number, if we add zero, then only it becomes whole number, isn't it? So all whole numbers are not natural numbers because zero should be included in the natural number to make it the whole number. So next G problem, the predecessor of a two-digit number is never a single-digit number. The predecessor of two-digit number, ten is the two-digit number. The predecessor of two-digit number is never a single-digit number. Predecessor of ten is nine only. This is the single-digit only, isn't it? So this is a false statement. Okay. So predecessor of the two-digit number may come, may come. A single-digit number may come as the predecessor of the so two-digit number. So this statement is false. One is smallest whole number. No, zero is the smallest whole number. So natural number one has no predecessor. So natural number one has no predecessor. Yes, natural number starts with one only. So there is no predecessor of the so one. The whole number one has no predecessor. False. Whole number before one then it has zero. So predecessor of one is zero. So so this is false statement. The whole number thirty lies between eleven and twelve. The whole number thirteen lies between eleven and twelve. No, wrong. Okay, so this is false statement. So after twelve, eleven lies with lies after twelve. The whole number zero has no predecessor. Yes, true. Whole number starts with zero only. Then there is no predecessor of zero. The successor of two-digit number is always two-digit number. Successor of two-digit number, successor is always two-digit number. Yes, single digit does not come in the successor of two-digit number. Successor of two-digit number is two-digit number only. Yes, this is true. So these are about the exercise two point one. Okay, in the next class we will start the properties. Properties of the numbers such as so that is commutative property, associative property, and all. Okay, so this is all about today's class. Hope you are all understood. Please solve the problems of exercise two point one. Okay, so and we solve the try these problems. Try these problems present in the in the page number from twenty eight. Okay, so thank you.